Welcome to the second part of the Creating the Fact Transformation chapter. Previously, we created this transformation which sources the raw data. It's now about time that we perform some checks on the data. We will only cover one example here. In reality, we will perform many more checks. So, click on Design and from the Flow folder, choose the Filter Rows step and drag and drop it onto the canvas. Connect it to the main stream. Double click on the step. We want to check if the sale date field has a value. So choose the sale date field here. And then for the condition specify is not null. Click OK. Add the dummy step and direct the error flow to it. So choose result is false. In a real project, you certainly shouldn't do that. Instead, use a table output step and save this record to a database so that you can later on analyze it. Right now, unfortunately, we don't have enough time to do this, so I take this shortcut just for this exercise. Next, we want to look up the technical key for our lenses. How do we do this? From the lookup folder, choose the database lookup step and to add it to the canvas. Connect this step to the main flow, choose result is true. So remember, we only want to pass on records to this step which have a date value. Next, double click on the step, give it a bit more descriptive name. So we say lookup lens decay. For the connection, choose SLS underscore DMA. The lookup schema can make use of setup earlier on. So let's say VARDP DMA schema. The lookup table name is dim underscore lens underscore simple. Remember, this is a slowly changing dimension of type 1 where we don't preserve any history and we will only be using the database value lookup step with this type of dimension. Next tick, enable cache because we want to have very fast lookups. And as we know, data set is quite small. We also load all data from tape. Now we have to define the keys. So in our case, that is lens ID. First, lens ID. So these are the lookup keys. And the values that we want to return is just the lens decay. The type is integer. And we want to assign a default value of zero in case the lookup doesn't return any value. I choose zero for the reason that usually the auto incremented key on the database side starts with one. So zero then clearly indicates that lookup didn't work. Click OK. And now let's test this transformation. Let's do a preview here. See what's happening. That's looking good. So you see that the lens decay is retrieved here properly. So our first mission is accomplished. To sum up, we import the raw data, do some basic quality checking, and then we implemented a process to look up the technical key for the lens. So that's it for now. I shall see you in a bit when we will look up the technical key for the customer dimension, which is a slowly changing dimension of type 2.